Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. I am here with my Yes Welder YWM211P. It's that Pulse MIG welder, totally aluminum capable. In fact, that's all I weld with it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to swap out the liner for your MIG gun on this machine so that you can run your bigger spools of aluminum. I've just got the one pounder in here, but it'll run a bigger spool so you can weld longer, spend less time switching things over. But in order to do that, you have to change out for the graphene liner that comes with the gun so you can run your aluminum filler metal. I've got other videos out of this YWM211P from Yes Welder. This machine is incredibly affordable and its capabilities in the aluminum area are awesome. We've got videos we're gonna keep showing you more on it and you can save 10% on your purchase at yeswelder.com by using Tom's Tunes at checkout. That is in the description of this video along with our other coupon codes. Inside of here, in order to run aluminum, we need to make sure we have the right drive roller on there, which I've already switched. But I'm gonna pop this out so it's easier to get at. That just slides out. So on this, we're just running the U groove for aluminum. But what I need to get to in order to swap out the liner in my MIG gun is I gotta get this little barb here is where my wire would be running through if I were running normal steel filler wire. But I'm gonna run aluminum, so I need the, graph the graphene liner to come from the front of the machine through here just slightly. So that's why I need to pop this out. There's a little retaining clip. So I was able to get the screwdriver in behind and then just pry it and that popped it off. And what that's gonna do, if I tap this through now, is that's gonna come out the front. And what came out the front is this stainless tube. So I can put my retaining clip back, back on there in case I ever use it again. I will not because I'm only gonna weld aluminum with this machine. But this was running out the front of the fitting here where the gun goes and the graphene is going to replace that. So it's easy to do this if you're working on a table, but we're gonna pull the top off of our MIG gun. You're gonna take your contact tip out as well. And then keeping this relatively straight, we need to just pull our, gra or our liner out that's in there. That can go away. And then we're gonna get our new graphene liner. So if you notice that was a graphene liner that I just took out that I goofed up and installed wrong. So I ordered another one. It's got all the parts and pieces. We're just gonna uncoil it. And then this is gonna slide right in where that one came out. And again here, we're trying to keep the rest of the line straight. Just makes it go in way easier. Hi, Banks. I'm gonna push this all the way in. You'll feel that coil at the end hit the gun. That is all the way in. I've got a lot of extra. So this is the goof up I made last time. I didn't trim it correctly. That's what I'm gonna do now. With that liner pushed all the way in, I'm gonna slide down that brass fitting. That's just gonna help lock it in place. And then just keeping some tension there, I'm gonna slide that O-ring down to lock everything in tight. And this one I close and I tighten this in, the gun in, this is gonna get squished into place and held in tight. So what I have to do when I put this in, well, let's go take a look here real quick. So if I were to insert this now, we just have too much extra graphene coming out. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna just mock it up here if it were plugged in. And I'm just gonna start by trimming off about six inches, and then I can run it through and see if I'm where I need to be. The mistake I made the first time is I cut too much off and you can't add it back. So if we slide this in. If you had a graphene stretcher, you could. 
I don't have a grass in the structure yet. You can see that graphene come out. So I still need to take off quite a bit in order for everything to fit up properly. So if I put this all the way in and tighten on my MIG gun, I need there to be just a little bit extra here sticking out. And that should give me room for it to fit in there next to the drive roller. So you can see it needs to be just past the drive roller. So I'm gonna make a mark right right next to where the drive roller is going to be and then I can cut it there. I found that a hose cutter is the cleanest cut for this. It leaves that liner perfectly intact and then I'm going to feed it back in. And there you can see that graphene liner is just barely poking out. I can put my drive roller back on. So I'd give a fresh cut. I slide that in just the nor like you would the normal feeder. I've added tension to my spool here so it can't backlash on me. And then as it comes out here, we're gonna guide it into that graphene liner. And just get it started in there. And then I can close my drive roll. And now I can release my tension here and we'll feed it out. Keeping that hose relatively straight, just to make it easy, cause it's got a long ways to go. We can push that feed button, the right hand button. And you'll feel it when it gets to the gun. And we are fed out. That's as easy it is as it is. I'm now gonna put my contact tip on and I'm ready to weld.